Dear students, I hope you all are well by the grace of God. I am also well. Today also, I am going to teach you tense. In my previous classes, I taught you present tense. Today, I will discuss past tense with you. Now, let us start. Actually, when we say past tense, we go back to the past only or think about the past only. We never or we should uh, or we have no scope of thinking present or future. Okay, now let us with past indefinite tense. Past indefinite tense. Actually, we use past indefinite tense for the complete finished actions. <laughs> Dear students, we use past indefinite tense for the complete finished actions. Always remember. <clears throat> now let us learn the formation of past indefinite tense. The formation of past indefinite tense is subject V2 past form of the bar then object and then extension as I did the work you did the work we went there he or she went there dear students look at the sentences at first we use subject then the past form of the verb and then object and then we use extension if necessary <coughs> okay this is the formation of our past indefinite tense and some examples also dear students we also use past indefinite tense to narrate a story or in a story we use past indefinite tense as there was a boy he was very idle he did not want to work at all etc etc <coughs> so we saw that we use past indefinite tense in a stories we also use past indefinite tense with some time frames such as time frames or uh, some words which indicates past time as once 
एगो लॉन्ग एगो सेंस लॉन्ग सेंस ईस्टर डे दे स्टार ऑल दिस वर्ड्स और फ्रेजेस इंडिकेट एक्चुअल इंडिकेट पास टाइम सो उथ दिस वर्ड्स और फ्रेजेस we use past indefinite tense such as the accident happened five minutes ago They are lived a king a long time ago. Long time ago, his father his father. left home he started my brother went to dhaka last night dear students All the underlined words or phrases indicate past time. So when there is a mentioning of past time, we use past indefinite tense with them. Okay, now, dear students, we are going to learn past continuous tense. actually we use past continuous tense for unfinished actions in the past that means we use past continuous tense for things that were going on in the past dear students write down the note in your uh, script please we use past continuous tense or past progressive tense for an finished actions or we can say that we use past progressive passive tense past progressive tense for things that were going on in the past dear students look at the board we use past continuous tense for unfinished actions or we can say in other way that we use past continuous tense or past progressive tense for things that we are going on in the past and present continuous tense 
things that are going on at now or around now. <coughs> Dear students, let us learn the formation of past continuous tense. The formation of past continuous tense is subject, then was or oya as auxiliary verb, then ing form of the verb, and then object and finally extension. So, this is our formation of past continuous tense. Now, dear students, let us see some examples. Look, we are playing football in the field. They are catching fishes in the river. She was writing a letter. Dear students, look. We, when we say we were playing football in the field, actually this indicates an unfinished action because our playing football did not stop or our playing football was not complete or was not finished. Look at the <coughs> uh, next one. They were casting fishes in the river. Actually, they were casting. They are casting fishes. Were going on. Did not finish or was not finished. So it was also an unfinished action. Number five. She was writing a letter. When we say she was writing a letter, actually we indicate that his letter or she, he did not complete his or finish his writing the letter. Dear students, now we will see some more examples of past continuous tense. I was reading and my sister was sleeping. Here, two past progressive actions were going on at the same time. I was reading and my sister was sleeping. Number two, I saw a <coughs> snake Why? I was going along the road. Here students, <coughs> we know that with while we use past progressive tense. Here we uh, see another case that when something was going on or an action was going on, another action happened. Another action happened while something was going on or an action was going on. Then we use uh, past indefinite tense and with while we use past continuous tense. And in our first sentence we see that at the same time two actions were going on. 
dear students this is the examples of past continuous tense now let us finish our class today here because time is very limited uh, and other teachers are waiting for taking classes and you know uh, our arrangement is very limited so i have to put an end here uh, see you again uh, up to this time please stay home Yes, they say. When you go out, please wear mask. Thank you very much. Thank you all.